Welcome to the Floral POS. In this how-to video, we're going to show you how to set up the Delivery Manager. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and click on our control panel and click on System Management and then Delivery Manager. Now that's, a, that's one way to get to Delivery Manager itself. Uh, we do have the Quick Access menu on the right-hand side here or the left-hand side depending on where you want it. And uh, I have the delivery manager already put right here, but to add the delivery manager to this quick menu, so so it's not so many steps to get to it, all you do is click on your user menu config button here, and then you just drop down and select delivery manager on one of the six icons. Once you're done, you click on save, and that icon will appear here. So let's go ahead and click on that and get started. So this video isn't really a video on how to use the Delivery Manager. It's more on the settings inside the Delivery Manager itself. So we're going to start at the top. So you have Select Delivery Status. Every order basically starts as an in-house order. And then the status will change based on the, you know, the settings inside the actual delivery itself. So you can change it to out on delivery or delivered. It'll actually timestamp it when it went out on delivery and it'll timestamp it when it's delivered itself. So if we were to actually mark these two orders as um, out on delivery, it would, re it would remove it from the, the queue of in-house and put it into out on delivery queue. Hopefully it makes sense. Uh, the next area here we have is delivery date. You can select dates in the future or in the past. So if I was to select the 27th and click on load, it's going to show you all the deliveries for 27th, which we don't have any. Uh, we also have a button here called today, which is a kind of a quick button of just doing this. So if I go hit, click on the 27th, if I click on today, it just basically puts it to today's date and shows you all the deliveries. Our next area here is our filter. So um, what the filter does is it looks at what you have in the queue for deliveries and it pulls information. So right now we have no filter, but if we wanted to just filter by different zip codes, we can just select zip code and then it'll show you all the zip codes if there were different ones in this drop down. We only have one four zero zero one in there. Um, you can filter by time, by de by driver, and if it's in a trip or not in a trip. To your right hand side here, we have our delivery queue column selector, very similar to our order browser column selector. Uh, when you select this, you can actually select which columns you want to see. I know other point of sale systems that do uh, that have delivery managers don't do this. And I think it's just uh, an easy way for you to clean up your uh, what you're viewing. Um, a lot of times they just kind of throw every column out there, and some some companies want to see other some information and some don't. So if you just want if you don't want to see the company information, you can toggle that off. Let's say we want to see the sender info, I can just toggle that right that right on, and automatically saves it so you can see that information. So I recommend that you play with that just to show the data you want to see. And if you have more data than what the screen shows, it'll just give you a little slider so you can slide to the right or the left. To the far right here, we have our mapping programs. We offer Google Maps. We also offer MapPoint, OptiMap, Bing Maps, and MapQuest. Now, um, Google Maps is what I recommend. Uh, MapPoint is basically like an offline mapping program by Microsoft. I think they're phasing that out, but we do have support for it. OptiMap, Bing Maps, and MapQuest, all good mapping programs, and they're all web-based, which is really nice. Down below here, we have our trip um, area. So up top is your queue. Down below, you can create a trip. So there's two different ways in the system you can um, actually set up uh, deliveries in the system. You can then do them individually, or you can actually do them um, in a group, or we call it a trip. So I'll uh, show you how, how that works in a little bit, but it's, again, this is just a settings video. So um, with the trip, you have a trip number, a trip name, where you can name the trip. Um, you can create a new trip if an uh, old trip was here. And you can also click on the trip viewer, which also shows you um, previous trips if you want to look at those. We also have settings, and this settings here is basically the settings for the delivery manager. So inside of here, you can do a bunch of things, and this is all from Floor's feedback. Um, you can actually, when you print a delivery manifest for your driver, you can hide the sender information if you don't want to see it. You can also not show an order until it's designed. So we do have a designer manager as well. And uh, what happens is the designer will design the product and mark it as designed. And then once it's designed, it'll show up magically inside the delivery manager. If this was actually um, enabled, you probably wouldn't see either of these orders here because they're not marked as designed. See how they disappeared? 
Some of our smaller shops don't use the design manager at all, so that's why we put that option in, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, a lot of you know everybody uses email email delivery confirmations, but if you don't for some reason want to use it, you can toggle that off. And then last but not least is do not show unpaid orders. So if an order isn't in payment needed status, it will not show up in here if you have this toggled on. By default, it is on. Moving back to your right here, you have a trip column selector. So it's the same thing as above. You can select the columns you want to see for your trip. And then you have three buttons here. You have a map trip, which will map um, all your uh, all your deliveries in the trip. That'll map them together from A to B or to Z. Um, you can print it directly to the printer, or you can preview the actual print job. And these are just for the delivery manifest. At the very bottom of your delivery manager, you have your driver that you can select. And then you have uh, you can update the status on all deliveries. So if you had multiple um, deliveries in here, you can actually update the status all together by just selecting the actual status. You can save the trip, delete it, or you can clear the trip right out if you wanted to. On the far right hand side, you have delivery due um, at a specific time and delivery deliveries in a trip. And what these are is just it's just a key. So if you notice that like when I add these items to a trip, it automatically highlights them in, in blue. And then if you had a particular, if you had an order that was a, a specific time, it'll actually highlight that in red. And let's go ahead and do that real quick so you can see that. We're going to do an order real quick. So if we go back into our Delivery Manager, specific time. So that's basically the settings for the Delivery Manager. Um, one last thing I want to show you is like uh, we showed you a list of drivers in the drop down here, and like how do how do we actually create these drivers? Where do they come from? And I'll show you where that is. So let's go ahead and close out of our Delivery Manager. And let's go into our employee manager, which is a uh, control panel, um, system management employee manager, and we'll go into a uh, employee config. And obviously, uh, you know, when I click on select a particular customer or employee, um, they have a two toggle list here you can be put into um, designer and driver. And that's how you actually add your drivers. So there'll be an employee in the system, and then you just toggle this on to make sure you save it. So if I was to actually pull Joey Croft out as a driver and we go back into our delivery manager he won't be in the drop down menu anymore alright guys so that's basically the delivery manager settings we are creating a video also on how to use the delivery manager itself if you have any questions give us a call at 888-865-9768 email us at support at or as always you can click on our feedback button and provide feedback until next time we'll see you